Disney can be a bit up and down with their live action movies, but they seem to put a lot more into this one, so hopefully it's good. So Tomorrowland, starring George Clooney and Britt Robertson, I haven't seen her in anything else, but she's pretty good in this movie, so we'll probably keep seeing her, which isn't a bad thing. And yes, George Clooney, the main name that's been selling this movie, but it's really all about Britt Robertson's character, Casey. As seen in the trailers for this movie, she finds a pin, and when she touches it, she's transported to this really cool world, but basically Casey wants to uh, find a way to get, actually get to Tomorrowland, um, since the pin doesn't really cut it. So she teams up with George Clooney's character, who has some ties to this world, and um, they go on an adventure. Yay! Yes, it pretty much is a Disney adventure movie made for kids. Kids will hopefully enjoy this film. The main cool thing about this movie is all the futuristic technological stuff that you see throughout, kind of. That's a pretty cool uh, aspect of it. They do that pretty well. And just for a heads up, this movie is more about actually getting to Tomorrowland than the actual place, and it makes sense once you watch the movie but you, you have a sense of what Tomorrowland is going to be like. But it's mainly getting there that's the uh, focus of the film. Well, that's an uh, aspect of it that a lot of people like, the journey as opposed to the actual place. The movie doesn't do that great with the actual journey, in my opinion. But there are a lot of plot holes throughout the movie. You find yourself asking uh, a lot of questions kind of throughout and... That's something that shouldn't really happen in a movie. You should be pretty much okay with what's happening instead of questioning it. But a good thing that this movie had going for it were the characters. They had pretty good characters. The main girl, again, Britt Robertson, she's pretty uh, entertaining, is a good character. You uh, relate to her very much. And um, she's a pretty cool a teenager, which is, you know, kind of rare in <laughs> some movies. They don't really know how to depict teenagers in a way that doesn't make them extremely annoying. Like, she could be kind of annoying, but that's more just because she is a teenager, so... But overall, she's, she's a pretty good character. And then there's this little girl who shows up uh, named Athena. Um, again, I don't want to give too much away, but the actress who plays her is pretty darn good. And she adds a very interesting dynamic to the movie. And then George Clooney, who, yeah, he's pretty good. It's nice to see him in a movie like this, uh, you know, in a, a kid's movie, but, you know, he he has good chemistry with uh, Britt Robertson, and um, yeah, good job, Clooney. Well, those characters are pretty good. Again, there's always issues when it comes to villains, usually, in in movies. Um, sometimes they get it right, and then they don't, and this movie didn't get it completely right. Hugh Laurie plays the bad guy in this movie, and that is not a spoiler, because as soon as you meet him, which is near the beginning of the movie, you know he's going to be the bad guy. I love Hugh Laurie. I was very excited to see him in this movie, but disappointed that his character was more fleshed out. Or just better. Ultimately, it's just too much build-up, and I lo usually love build-up, but the build-up in this case is pretty mediocre, and it just leads to a mediocre climax, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna give Tomorrowland a meh. Again, I think kids will like this movie, and again, it's my opinion, so maybe you'll love it, and that's great. But in terms of uh, Disney rides that they've decided to make into movies, or I guess this is a Disney ride or a section of Disney land or world, I don't know. But it's pretty much, you have Pirates of the Caribbean, and then you have Haunted Mansion. It's kind of in the middle. Maybe a little towards Haunted Mansion. But have you guys seen the movie? Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. 
yeah, this background means that I am home, like home home, different from where I usually am. I am a bit behind this weekend in movie reviews, but I've just finished school. So, but that means that I'm going to have a lot more time to do movie reviews. This weekend is just a little bit of a setback, but um, it's going to be hopefully smooth sailing from here on in. So, hope you guys stick around. But okay guys, that's it for me. Hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Toodles!